Select the GT obturator the same tip taper size as the largest GT file taken to length. To set the length in this technique, set the rubber stop at your working length. Always use the length calibration markers on the obturator itself for setting the length. Because gutta percha distribution on the carriers can vary, do not attempt to set this length based on a ruler measurement of the obturator. These calibration marks are at 18, 19, 20, 22, and 24 millimeters. GT obturators should only be placed in a canal that has been thoroughly dried. GT sized paper points are appropriate because they conform to these instruments predefined canal shape. After the canal has been dried, apply a very thin layer of sealer. It is recommended that non-eugenol sealers like Thermoseal Plus should be used with the GT obturator's alpha phase gutta percha. The sealer, in addition to penetrating minute canal spaces, acts as a lubricant, enhancing the flow characteristics of the centrally condensed gutta percha. Heat the obturator only in the GT obturator oven. These ovens are designed specifically to guarantee full and uniform gutta percha heating. Turn the oven on using the flip switch on the back. After setting the stopper, place the obturator in the holder with the rubber stop below the holder's arm. Press the holder down to submerge the obturator in the heating coils. Press the appropriate button corresponding to the size of the obturator being heated. Press the appropriate start button for the left or right well. The heating time varies depending on the size of the obturator. The first beep indicates the obturator has reached the appropriate temperature. The oven will hold the obturator at the right temperature and beep every 15 seconds up to 90 seconds as a reminder that the obturator is ready. The oven will automatically switch off and begin to cool after 90 seconds. Remove the obturator by gently pushing on the holder button and allowing the arm to raise up. In teeth with multiple canals, place paper points in the unfilled canals to avoid overflows of gutta percha into these spaces. Immediately after removing the obturator from the oven, place the device into the canal using a slow, smooth, continuous motion up to the stopper. To remove the handle at the orifice level, use one finger to steady the handle while severing the shaft with a preppy burr or an inverted cone burr.